All right, so we're going to carry on with question B, and um, since it's all under the category of question B, B part 1 and then part 2, um, I'm going to assume that this information about there being 120 people from Wellington, 32, 83, 17, all that's still going to be the same. That's still going to happen for us, so we need to carry that information with us. And let's see what they've added to it to make it worse. So, it was also found that of this group of 120 people from Wellington, so we're still dealing with the 120 from Wellington, Ninety-eight have a post-school qualification, so now we're dealing with three categories. We've got post-school qualification, whether they're under 65 or over 65, and whether they're earning at least $50,000. So a two-way table, unfortunately, won't work for us anymore because you can only have two things in a two-way table, and now we've got qualifications, age, and income that we have to deal with. So in this case, it might actually be the um, best decision to make a Venn diagram here. Um, you can possibly do this without diagrams as well, but most people prefer to work with those, so I'm going to go through the process of making one. Um, so it's going to have three bits of information, because again, now I've got my qualifications, I have my age, and I have my income that I need to deal with. So let's see if I can draw something up here for us. And I might say this is the qualifications. This is the, we'll be specific about it, so um, has a post-school qualification. This is at least 65, and this circle down here can be at least 50,000. Okay, so it was found in this group that 98 of them have a post-school qualification, so that tells me that in that circle for post-school qualification there's going to be 98 people. Everyone in this group is either 65 years old, at least 65 years old, so in this circle, or earns at least 50000 in that circle, or has a post-school qualification. So that means to me that there's going to be zero people outside of this Venn diagram, or outside of the circles in the Venn diagram, because everyone falls into one of those three categories. Next thing for us, 19 are at least 65 years old, but do not have a post-school qualification. So that's telling me this group here are going to be 19. That's between the middle section here and the section over here, so I'm just going to highlight that in there. That Both of those together should be 19. And they've also told me that there's four that are at least 65, earn at least $50,000, and have a post-school qualification. So that's the middle category, obviously, because all of them are in there. So it doesn't seem like a lot of information, but remember, we have to pull down everything we learned from above. So if we go up to the top here, we've got a total of 32 people who are at least 65, and a total of 83 people who earn at least $50,000. So we know that this group over here, the total circle is going to add up to 32. And for at least 50,000, we're going to get a total of 83. And from there, we can start to sort of piece some information together. But additionally, we've got other information, such as the overlap between at least earning at least 50,000 and earning at least 65 is 12. So that tells me here that the group that earn at least sixty or 50,000 and are at least 65 is going to be 12. So this whole group here is supposed to add up to 12. I have 8 so far, so I need the 12... Sorry, I have 4 so far, so I need the 12 minus 4, which is going to give me 8. So altogether there's 12 people that are at least 65 and earning at least $50,000. And that matches to what we had in our table above. The next thing that I know is that, like I'd mentioned here, there's 19 that are at least 65 but do not have the post-school qualification, so these two bits here, this part of the circle and that one, the parts I've kind of stained in green, are supposed to add up to 19. I've got 8 here, so that's going to leave me with 11 people in that part of the circle. 
and I know that there's going to be for at least 65 a total of 32 people altogether. So if I add up 11 plus 8 plus 4, I'm going to get 23, and I know I need 32. So that leaves me with 9 people at the top there. So I know, again, 11 plus 9 gets me to 20, plus 4 plus 8 gets me to 32 total, and this matches up that I've got 19 shared between at least 65 and at least $50,000, but outside of the post-school qualification. Okay, now we've got to fill in this giant empty spot over here. We don't know much information about the post-school, um, and and these ones you end up having to do a little bit of algebra. So the way these work out, like we've gone through before in class, is we put x in the middle for the one that's shared. And then I know inside of this big circle up here, everybody in there needs to add up to 98. So this whole piece that's left, this bit here, should be equal to 98 minus the 9 minus the 4 and minus the x because altogether it should add up to 98, so whatever is left over after I take those bits out should be that part up there. And same down here, I should add up to 83 total, so I'll have 83 minus 4 minus 8 minus x should be what I have in this part of the diagram. And to go from here, um, one thing that I need to keep in mind is like they've pointed out, I've got no people outside of the circles, so that means to me that all three of these circles, everything in this Venn diagram should add up, if I go to each little spot in the diagram, should ap add up to 120 total. So let's do it. 120, all these should add up to it, so I'll just start writing them down. 98 minus 9 minus 4 minus x plus 9 plus 11 plus 4 plus 8 plus x plus 83 minus 4, minus 8, minus x. So, all of these, again, if I added up every single individual category, should add up to 120, so I'm testing that out. And if you start to simplify some of these numbers, um, adding up all the numbers on that side, you're going to get 188. And if you notice, there's a minus x here a plus x and another minus x. Well, the minus x plus x cancel, and we're left with one more minus x. And again, that 188 comes from 98 minus 9 minus 4 plus 9 plus 11 plus 4, adding up just the numbers. So in our last step here, with a little bit of algebra or using solver if you would like, you could put this whole expression in the solver if you wanted to, um, we're going to find that x is going to be equal to 68. So that tells me this middle category here that's shared between them should be 68 people. So I'm going to write in a big 68 where the x was. And that lets me solve out this bit here. So 83 minus 4 minus 8 minus 68, now minusing what x was equal to, is going to get me three people left over. So again, I use the 68 there instead of x once I've figured out what x is. And again, for this part, 98 minus 9 minus 4 minus x, now that x is 68, that's going to give me a total of 17 people up above. So that's filling in the diagram. Um, calculate the probability that a randomly selected person from this group has a post-school qualification and earns at least $50,000. So we're saying post-school and earns at least $50,000. That's this group in here. They're the ones that are both part of the post-school and earning the at least $50,000. So that's going to be 68 plus 4 equals 72 out of 120 people total. If we do that to a decimal, 0 0.600. So, it's a bit complicated with this Venn diagram problem, but uh, you'd expect it to be because it is an excellent question. So. Working through it, don't forget this problem will be very hard to do, actually impossible to do, if you don't realize that it's all part of question B, and you've got to remember to bring them the information from above in the earlier part of the question. And from there, it's a matter of thinking about if you've got 
more than one category left empty, putting the X for the part that goes in the middle, and then working your way backwards to figure out what those numbers are going to be.